Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Suffer Alliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to show you today is a method that you can use to make a temporary compass off the landscape. And when I say temporary compass, it's only a device to keep you walking in a straight line. And if you understand navigational concepts, the compass really allows you to mitigate lateral drift by keeping the needle in the doghouse traveling over distance so that you walk a straight line. It's easy to pick a direction of travel if you are in the woods, you don't have a map and you're just trying to go from one point to another. So I've chosen a direction I want to travel. Now I want to make sure that I travel in that direction in a straight line. Maybe I know that off to my east, there's a linear object like a road or something. And I just want to make sure that I can hit that road. And that's my escape azimuth going out of the woods. Or if I get turned around, I know I'm going to go east and I'm going to hit that road. And I can discern that from things like the sun, what direction is east. And then if I have something to help me walk a straight line, I can mitigate my lateral drift back and forth and give me a more easterly straight line. That's what I want to show you today. It's very easy to make right off the landscape with very simple tools. Okay, so we don't need a lot for this. We need a piece of wood, and it's just a split piece of tulip poplar. So a saw, a knife, and a baton off the ground will make this. It needs to have a hole in the middle. My SAK all will take care of that. Then I need something that will fit inside that hole to use for a gnomon that will cast a shadow. And I've just got a stick here that I've picked up off the ground, and I've pointed that stick, and I'm going to shove it through the bottom of the hole just like this. So that it casts a shadow on this board when it's in the sun. You can see that shadow on the board. Okay, That shadow is going to be the key to walking a straight line. Now, once I have a direction of travel selected, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remind myself that my direction of travel is always going to be the front of this board. So I'm going to point this in the direction I want to travel. Then I'm going to see where the shadow lands on this board when the board is level and straight in front of me. And I'm going to take a pencil and just mark a line right there, just like this. What that's going to do is allow me to walk. And if I veer left or right, my shadow is going to leave that line. In essence, I haven't kept the needle in the doghouse. Now, we have to understand that that shadow is only going to remain in the same place. It's going to move constantly 15 degrees over the next hour or approximately that much per hour of daylight. So we need to understand which direction this is going to move over the next hour. And with the sun going this direction, the shadow is going to move this direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that line and we're going to guesstimate another 15 degrees. And we're going to put it on that right beside there, just like that. And now what we've done is we've effectively made a doghouse that should be good for about the next hour as long as we're within that doghouse. And at the end of the hour, we're going to be on this side of that doghouse. And then once that hour passes, and we can look at our watch to figure that out, or we can look at the sun and count hands down if we need to. But once we get that hour, then we're going to need to reset this compass and put a new line on the shadow to travel for the next hour. But this can be made literally in about five minutes. Guys, I really appreciate you joining me today for this video on how to make a simulated short-term compass off the landscape in very quick fashion. And again, really all this is enabling us to do is walk a straight line over distance for about an hour at a time. Then we have to recalibrate and do it again. But again, walking a straight line is the key to something like an escape azimuth or finding your way out if you get lost because you should have pre-planned enough to have a linear object and a, an escape azimuth direction to get to if something happens while you're out on the trail. So with that said, I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video, guys, as soon as I can. Thanks.